Okay, moving on to the infamous Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder. I only have banana. Um, the Mojave, I think that's the one. It was a little too close to my skin complexion. And plus, I wanted to try it out first before I just went out and bought a bunch of them. Um, I'm going to see if I can pick some up. I do plan on going to IMATS, going to IMATS New York this year. Let's see how that goes. Um, I wish I would have picked this up when I first saw it at Ricky's because yes UIT Divas have been doing your job look at that when I first saw it it was $11 and I didn't pick it up because um I know I've seen it online for eight but I kept I kept going back and forth I think also was selling it for ten but they never had any stock in it and I was just like oh, I don't know it might be one of those things where you know it's just hyped up and you know everyone's getting it for free so they're just like swearing by it I've seen some people do some horrid things with this product hard I think um this one works for me because I have a yellow undertone I kind of don't play it up so I was reluctant to get this product and as a matter of fact I saw the Ruby Kisses um, HD set and forget um, in the store for six dollars so I picked it up but um guys honestly it's a good substitute but mr ben nye takes the cake on this one ben nye is absolutely a better product i know there's people that are probably not going to agree with me on this but i did see i it, it wasn't the hype the hype made me purchase it but the hype didn't make me like it because um there's there's products that i'm just like oh that's trash like i don't like it and people swear by it i honestly love the bed nine more but you see at 16 compared to 13.99 if you wanted something more but budget friendly go with that ruby kisses but ben nye luxury powder absolutely get that swag <laughs> so this palette right here is bh cosmetics take me to brazil um it's a 30 color eyeshadow palette and I had to get this because it just looked fun and interesting. It wasn't the standard black packaging. Um, I wanted to try it out. You know, the divas I saw at testing it out and doing looks and their videos sold me on, on it. So I picked it up. So these are the colors. And honestly, with these colors, like, oh my gosh. Like, I just, I fell in love. I was really sold on this pink right here and of course a true yellow it'll, it'll make you just any girl gush but um i picked this up and um and excuse me if i keep saying i picked this up like look at that it's pretty it is pretty um i thought this was like going to be like a matte black seeing it um matte white sorry i'm seeing it you know in video pick that up too um let's see gonna grab that and that now look at this get closer the pink I'm actually gonna try to look with the pink tomorrow and I'm gonna use um the NYX jumbo pencil and milk to try to intensify it but the color payoff uh, I just I can't with the color payoff I can't um I'm gonna do a swatch for you hold on so this is what those swatches did. So now you can kind of see um, a little shimmer of the highlight color. Barely see that yellow. Black is coming up, and the pink is uh, it's okay. Like I, I'm pretty good at building and you know building up colors. I I know some tips and tricks that I've learned off YT. I'm just off of experience, but um. For a beginner, if, I, if you're a beginner, you're not that good at shadow, I definitely will tell you, as tempting and colorful and playful as this is, don't get this palette. Because you're going to be disappointed when you're trying to do looks and you're like, why isn't this showing up? Like this color, that um, color here, I'd honestly probably use it as a highlight and not even try to use it. I tried to use it on my, um, to highlight my brows and it didn't work. I probably would highlight my cheeks with it or something like that over something or layered with something else. But, um, even this black, the, it's not giving me the intensity that I need. Um, so yes, I, I, I would skip this palette if you're a, a newbie. 
if you are you know someone a little more experienced someone who got this down pat maybe pick this up because of the color range but um yeah I don't recommend this so I'm gonna have to say dead that swag and as I show you my light swatches <laughs> dead that swag So this is something that I've seen a lot and yes YouTube made me do it. I saw a lot of people using it in their videos, their makeup and swearing by it. So I went out and got it. I got a little one, just a little one. Um, this one's for my kit but I started using it. I haven't really been um, booking clients that much lately. So um, I haven't been um, using it as much. I would never though just, just put that out there, use something on myself and then use it on my my client um i've been using my nyx when i've had clients but um i definitely love this 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 has been my go-to this is my favorite whenever i'm going to do an eye look i find myself reaching for this i love the consistency um it is a little bit on a pricey so i think this one was 12 and i think the large size is about 20 but i definitely have to give this a get that swag it's worth the money it, it just it does increase um I just love it. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't add any color to your lid that you now have to try to cover up. So that's why I would definitely recommend this product. And I say get that swag. Moving on to Sigma brushes. Now I have three. I believe I have the E40 as well. But um, I can't put my hands on it um, at the moment. I When I first did my order, I definitely wanted to get this brush right here, which is the F80. Um... I was all into flat top brushes, you know, for applying my foundation. And as you can see, this one is dirty. Um, have a little stray hairs at the top. I actually don't <laughs> use this brush. I think I might have used it one day last week when my um, other brushes were um, were dirty. And I want to say I know some of my friends swear by this brush here, but I would say dead that swag you do not have to spend I, I don't even remember something about 15 to 20 dollars for this brush and you can't get sets and the sets are expensive these brushes are pricey I have to say dead that swag I, I think you can get something else comparable you don't have to um, spend the money my coastal scent brush is almost exactly the same I think it was about 10 so for me um, this would be a dead that swag and this brush here, this is the E30. This is a tapered pencil brush. Um, as you can see, mine is dirty. <laughs> I used it yesterday. I actually used it to, to blend and to do some, um, you know, my, some detail work as I heard it called in my inner V um, or outer V, whatever. But <laughs> I really want to say for the E30, this is the best pencil, pencil brush I have. Um, it was in the range of about $15. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So if you're going to spend the money, you're going to go to Sigma anyway. Definitely get this E30 brush. I definitely say get that swag. I just love the point. I love it. It's just so good. Like popping color into that. And the tear duct, it's just amazing. Amazing. So get that swag. So another product that was really much hyped up here on YT was the Naked um, Palettes by Urban Decay. So when I went to Sephora, I saw that big ticket price of $50. I think it's actually like $59. And I was just like, oh no, no hell to the no. So I saw the Naked Basics and it's $27. I didn't even swatch it. I just picked it up and took it along with me. And um, yeah. So this is the inside and um, I really did want a really good beige and it has um, two or three depending on if that's beige or khaki tees. Sorry guys. And um, I picked this up to try it out because I just saw so many people using it and even not so much the basic palette but um, the palette all together. And I just was like oh I gotta have it. It's supposed to be like the best and I didn't like it. 
I don't know who the, these colors are basically for. I don't basically wear these colors. Like, I don't. Like, it's not my go-to. For my skin tone, for my complexion, I like to um, pick up. Well, I use tend to use, like, purples and pinks. That really flatters my, um, my complexion. But now this I just take and I use on, you know, clients. I really... I, it's just not for me. So I would have to say dead that swag. I don't think you need this. I don't think you you need this um, palette. I think there's other ones, you know, get uh, like a basic palette from, you know, Coastal Sense or BH or anywhere else and spend less money and probably get more use out of it, more um, color range um, than this. Um, I just... For me, it's it's a dead that dead that. Okay, this one here, I really have to say Nicole Guerrero is is she's at fault for this because you watch her videos and she's so bubbly and she really knows her stuff and you see her videos and you see these beauties in the background and um makes you want to go grab some. Of course, I don't have the color she has. I think she has geranium, but other than that, she tends to go for like the more pinky peachy colors. I went out for the bold crazy colors because that's who I am. I do have some more. They have five or six of these. And um, I basically stalk the website trying to get the colors I wanted. And I do not wear these at all. As you can tell by geranium, I don't wear it at all. Um, I think that there are different. You can There's different things you can, can get. You can um, get your hands on. I honestly would say dead that swag. I didn't like. I did not. They, I didn't like them. The formula is okay. Form's okay, but uh, that's it. Dead that swag. I just don't recommend spending that thing the sixteen or so dollars that these um these go for. Um, if you could pick them up like at you know like IMAX or something, they're offering something um off, then maybe. But yeah, don't go through the trouble like I did. Um, dead that swag. So again, two thousand thirteen. I want to say late two thousand twelve into two thousand thirteen. Um, you started seeing a lot of videos pop up about these products right here and I I rushed out and I went and I picked some stuff up and um, I actually ordered online I can't remember the website I think I ordered from their website and um, I was gonna do a giveaway and everything I was really excited about inexpensive bold lip colors I like to call them odd lip colors but I was really excited got them I was going to do a video because um, those videos were really popular at the time. Um, and I was going to do a video, tried them on, I was going to wear them. I hate these. I absolutely hate them. And the funny part is now, just now I'm starting to see them pop up in Harlem. Not the full range with some of the colors. And, and they have even started making new colors in this bold lippy um, collection. And um, it is the, um, sorry, the Femme Lipsticks by Clean Color. And I have to say a great big dead that swag. Don't get these. I mean for the price. I think they were like $2 online. Maybe you get them for like a dollar. I don't suggest them. I, I think the Nika K or NK are, are better. Um, they go on a little bit better. They wear off. But um, they go on a little better. This was streaky, cakey, too moist. It was just all wrong. So um, don't waste your, your money. Dead that swag. I really want to say thank you to all my new subbies and thank you to everyone who watched this video. Um, if you haven't already, check out part one. Also, keep an eye out for my purple lipstick collections coming soon. Thanks, guys.